everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind writerdarling.com and today I'm doing a um, tutorial slash get ready with me kind of on this eye look which was from one of my popular blog posts recently using the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette that is fairly new and um, yeah so I'm using the darker trio on the very end and I wanted to show you guys how I get the look because it's really easy and so perfect for the holidays coming up. So if you're interested to see how I got this face, then just keep on watching. Thanks so much. We are going to start by using a brush like this or like a MAC 217 or a Sigma E25 and go into the lightest shade and pick up some of that. Oh, you know what? I forgot to prime my eyes. So I'm using the MAC Painterly Pink Pop. And I just put a little bit on my eyelids. This is so important when you do an eyeshadow look is to find a good primer because it will literally change the way your eyeshadow performs, the way it applies, the way it looks throughout the day. Um, and yeah, my favorites are obviously this MAC Paint Pot. I also like the NARS Smudge Proof Primer. I like the Milani primer at the drugstore. It reminds me a lot of the NARS one. Um, not a big fan of the Urban Decay one, but they're okay. They're not the worst out there. Okay. So after we put down the primer, I actually sat down with a little bit of powder, and this is just the Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation, I'm using just a very fluffy brush to simply dust that all over. That way we don't have any skipping happening on our lids when we're putting down the colors because that can happen if you have too sticky of a base. So, all right, now let's get back into the palette. So I have the lightest shade on this kind of a, a uh, brush. And what's nice about this palette is it has a nice big mirror. So we're going to do what Charlotte says, which is to, um, I think she calls this to prime. Yes. You use the lightest shades in her trios to prime from lid to brow bone. And I know you guys are probably going to be like, what the heck? Where's the pigment? Well, the way I built the pigment up, you'll see later, is two ways. I used my finger, and I also used um, a denser brush. What's nice about this palette is it layers really well. It's not something that's going to be like wham bam in your face, intense, scary. It's for the everyday woman. It's not for like a makeup like obsessor the way a lot of us are. Um, it's for somebody who just likes to look pretty um, but doesn't need like the most intense look in the world, right? Okay, so then like I mentioned, I used a more dense brush, or actually I used my finger, so. I'm just going to pick up that color with my finger and pack it onto the lid. Only on the lid. We're not going to put this color any higher than that now that we have it to the brow. And you'll see it's got lots of sparkles. Okay, so now that we got that on the lids, we will take the a fluffier brush, more like a, I think it's a MAC. 244, like a fluffy blending brush or like a Sigma E35. And we're gonna go into the medium shade. So I'm gonna pick up this medium shade, which is really sparkly, and throw that in the crease. Start very lightly from the outer half because if you start too close to the inner inside of your eye, it'll be too intense and you'll feel like you messed up your whole look. So you'll definitely start to see this look coming together once you add this color. Because the black, although it's there is black in the look, it's really more this color that is making it look as cool as it ends up looking. It's like a khaki gray-green. More gray, but it has like khaki undertones. Alright, starting the outer half. Very lightly, barely any pressure is going on my lid with this brush because if you press too hard, you're not going to get that blended look that everybody wants. Of course, 
this is a very dramatic, more like a party eye. And after I'm done with this makeup, I get to go run some errands, go to CVS, run to Home Goods, get stuff ready for Thanksgiving next week. So I'm sure I will look completely insane. But you know, this is the life I lead people. And you'll see I don't really go in this outer corner with this gray color yet. I want to just keep it to the outside and the upper part of the lid. Like I kind of have, since I don't have a big crease, I have to start above, like right above the crease and blend up. And that's kind of what gives me more of an eye opening effect. Because if I put it straight in the crease, you don't see my lids anymore. So this is kind of how I have to do it. All right. Then I'm going to take a tinier brush. So we have one of these, it's kind of like a domed pencil shaped brush from this Wet n Wild collection. It looks dirty, but it's not. I completely cleaned it off. Like there's no color coming off. So we're then gonna take the black. Tap a lot of it off and I'm gonna dot that right in this outer part of your, my eye. And it's important to have a very precise brush for the black because you want to place it exactly where you want it. You don't want it to blow out into a blow again. Because then the look will completely, completely change. Plus, you're going to put it here and then once we blend it out, it's going to diffuse a little bit anyway. And I can just warn you right now, this eye, I don't know if it's allergies or winter and my eyes are dry. I don't know what's going on, but it's been watering like a fire hydrant. I don't know what the problem is. So just don't mind that. So it's kind of just like a big clump of black. It's kind of in a V shape, but also kind of just, I don't know what shape you would call this. It helps to look down in a mirror like I'm doing right now, because then you can really see if you're even. If you're looking slightly down, Okay, then we're going to go back in, clean off the first brush we used, the more medium fluffy brush, and gently buff that into the crease, like the actual crease, just slightly. Okay, see how it's blending in? And then I clean it off again before I do it on the other side because I don't want it to add any more color from the other eye. Mostly buffing it in, not pulling it out. We'll do that a little later with the gray. Now we're going to go back in with a big fluffy brush with the gray, pick up the gray and diffuse it all together. So there's no harsh lines, the black and the gray kind of just seem seamlessly blend into one. Again, also making it just a deeper look overall. You'll see the lightest colors kind of gotten lost. Oh, I dropped the brush. So to get that back, we're just gonna go in with our finger again and add a little more of the shimmery pearl color. Now that we have the shadow on, we're gonna go in with liner. Now I liked, for this look that I did, I used a gel liner. And the reason I used a gel liner is because I wanted it to look like a smudgy smoke at the lash line. I didn't want, um, a wing liner or anything like that with this look. I just felt like the sparkles and the darkness was enough. So I'm using the MAC Paint Pot. I mean MAC Paint Pot. The MAC um, Pearl Longwear Eyeliner in Black Track. And what I'm gonna do is, considering I'm far away from my mirror, is gently stretch my eyelid. I know this isn't good, but I'm putting a very finished line, just at the lash line, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna buff this in anyway. So, just like that. Not anything too dramatic. And then find like the tiniest kind of pencil brush you have. This is from Eco Tools, it's new. And you're just going to pick up that gray shade again from the palette with that and buff it into your lash line. Because not only is the gray going to soften the black, but it's also going to help smudge it out and make it look 
It's very smoky. Especially if you have eyes like mine with a little bit of a hooded lid, the smaller the pencil brush, the better, because then it won't blow out the color or the liner even more. So that's that eye. This is without the liner. I don't even know if you can tell the difference, but <laughs> that's what it does. Okay, so same thing on the other eye. And gently smudge it out, very gently. I'm barely pressing on the brushes. That's pretty much my suggestion for all looks you ever do. There's no reason to press on your brush very hard. If you're doing that, you might be needing to use a different brush altogether if you're having to press that hard to get the effect you want. So, okay. That is the top of the eyes. And now we're gonna go into the bottom. So just take any black liner that you have. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Same Place Liner in Onyx. And you're just gonna line into your lower waterline. Breathe for a second because your eyes will water if you're like me. And then again, we're gonna take that teeny tiny pencil brush and pick up the gray shade and just buff it into that lash line. So it gives it a little bit of a smoky effect. You can go as intense as you want here. If you are wearing false lashes with this look, I would amp it up even more because you want to balance out your top and bottom eye, eye, um, eye looks. Like if you're very dramatic up at the top and not much down here, it can look a little like unfinished. So just keep that in mind. Unless you're going for that like pinup look where you just put all the lashes and drama on the top and leave your bottom completely bare, then I can understand that. Okay, I also will take a, just a teeny bit of the black on the very outer edge. You see, this one is already bordering like a maniac, which is fine because we don't have like winged liner today. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to put lashes on because I was trying to make a panic attack, so. And that was it. That was honestly the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna finish up with some mascara and then we'll come back to the rest of the face. I just popped on some mascara and I forgot one last step. So I'm gonna actually take the light pearl color with a tiny brush and pop it in the inner corner. And this isn't something that you might notice makes a huge difference, like looking at yourself, but in pictures, it'll make a difference. Let's get into the rest of the face. So luckily, I have a few more Charlotte Tilbury goodies to use. So I have a blush and her contour and highlight kit. This is the Filmstar Bronzing Glow that's been around for a long time now, but I just finally got it myself. Um, and I'm going to go in with a fluffy powder brush, face brush like this. This one is actually the blush brush in this set, but I like it for bronzer. I'm taking the big fluffy brush from the powder that I put all over my lid and going with the highlight. This is a very subtle highlight, not gonna lie but it's fine because the eyes are really dramatic. It's really pretty for every day. Again, Charlotte's products are honestly meant for the everyday woman who just wants to feel pretty, which is basically what my blog is all about. So, I mean, actually on camera, it looks much more dramatic than it does in real life, but hey, that's all right. I have the Cheek to Cheek blush in Ecstasy. The theory behind her blushes is you use the outside to swish and then the center to just pop right on the center. Honestly, you can mix the whole thing together and it's fine, but for the sake of the Charlotte way, we'll do it like that and show you. So, you swish, and kind of just apply it as you would. And then pick up that pop color in the middle, which on most of the palettes are, is a little brighter, and just pop it right in the center. And I was surprised how well these have lasted on my skin. I have been using this blush for about a week now. I was afraid that as the, for the price point, I was like, I bet you it's not gonna last that long. I don't know why, I just kind of had like a not great feeling, but they last really long on the skin, which is nice. So very pretty. I think it just looks soft. I hope you guys can tell on camera. Um, just a pretty look. I'm just gonna go in with some of my Benefit Gimme Brow to 
set the brows and get rid of any maybe like eyeshadow powder that got stuck in there. In that picture on my Instagram, I used Charlotte's iconic nude pencil with her nude Kate lip lipstick, which is one of my favorites. Her lip products are probably my absolute favorite from her line. So we're gonna go in with iconic nude. These are the longest lasting lip pencils and most flattering and like soft on the lips. Like they don't cake up. I don't know, they're just the best. And then Nude Kate is a nude beigey kind of color. So once everything's on, I like to take just a big fluffy powder brush or a dual fiber brush and kind of smooth it all out and blend it all in. All right, so that wraps up my little demo tutorial, get ready with me, whatever you want to call it, using the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette. I hope you guys found it helpful with the fact that there are like 4 million eyeshadow palettes on the market right now and you're probably thinking, what am I going to use for my holiday parties or Thanksgiving or whatever you got going on for the next few weeks over this season. I'll link everything below so you guys can shop it at your leisure. But if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any requests for upcoming videos or tutorials or any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments and share this with a friend if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. My channel is new and I'm growing and I really appreciate your support. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.